Hi guys! Welcome back to this series of discussions about statics of rigid bodies. In today's discussion, we shall be having a sample problem on the application of the principle of moments. Kaya bago tayo magpatuloy guys, sana ay minsan pa iniimbitan ko kayo na subscribe itong channel ko nang sa gayon ay tuloy-tuloy tayo nagkakasama tuwing meron tayong series of discussions na katulad dito. So, puntahan natin ngayon itong ating problem guys. The problem is about a force F that is passing through point C that produces a clockwise moment of 600 Newton about point A and a counterclockwise moment of 300 Newton meter about B and we are required to determine the moment of F about O. So, ang illustration ganito guys. So, mamit na tayo ng TV para medyo malinaw na yung illustration. Ano? So, imagine natin that we have here a dx axis okay, intersected by the y axis so that at this point meron tayong origin. Yung point A na tinutukoy dito is somewhere here ano? at uh, a distance of 5 meters from above okay, above o. while uh, the C that is being okay, being uh, uh, mentioned here is somewhere here at 3 meters to the right of O and 1 meter above X so meron tayo ditong point C while this point B is uh, about okay, 5 meters to the right at O and here is our point B. According to the problem, we have here a, pass, a force that passes through C and produ producing the following moment. Ano? Counterclockwise moment about point B dito, while clockwise moment about point A. So guys, bago ko ituloy itong discussion, ay gusto kong tingnan nyo muna mabuti itong problem. Para at tingnan kung sa palagay ninyo ay how are you going to solve the problem okay so <clears throat> magsibula na tayo ang way of solving this kind of problem is of course uh, kinakal natin ma-analyze muna ano? yung sinasabi dito okay, direction of force that passes through F so there, there are okay, points to consider in uh, Okay, solving this problem, ano? sabi ko nga, kaya na kailangan ma-identify natin yung mga concepts that needs to be considered in the analysis. And what are they? Una, okay, maintindihan natin yung direction and magnitude of the turning effect of the force about the two given points. Okay? Tinan natin, guys, so, sabi dito, the force produces a clockwise moment of 600 Newton about A. So, kung i-drawing natin yan, ito yan, ano? Meron siyang clockwise moment. Meron siyang magnitude. Okay? While this uh, kay other given and a counterclockwise moment of 300 Newton meter about B. So, nasan siya? So, ito yung B. So, it is producing a clockwise moment. So, ayan yung scenario. No? And the magnitude is 300 Newton meter. So, after you have identified the direction and the magnitude, okay, the next thing that you should be okay, uh, knowing is the direction of the force to produce the given okay, direction of the turning effect. In the problem, it is mentioned that F passes through C. Ibig sabihin, narito yung F, ano? Kaya lamang, papaano siya ang direction niya? Kasi since there is uh, a point, so there are a lot of possibility on the direction of uh, okay, the force that passes through C. Ayun, gusto ko tinanong niyo mabuti para ma madaling masundan. No? If we are, okay, if this force is to create a clockwise moment about A and a counterclockwise moment about B, then we would expect that the direction of the force shall be okay, following okay, the turning effect. Nakikita nyo yung, yung dalawang araw na ito? Okay. Itong dalawang araw ang at least magtuturo sa atin kung paano magiging direction ng uh, force. So, inaasahan natin yung direction of force somewhat directed in this direction. Ano? So, ipakita natin kung paano somewhat it is directed in this manner. Kasi this force will produce okay, a clockwise moment and a counterclockwise moment about it. But 
Okay, kung pag-aaralan natin because there is a lot of range na kung saan ito yung imposible direction, ipakita natin nun, ano ano ba yung mga pwedeng maging direction ng C. I will show it this way. Ito yung mga plus possible direction ng C, ano? Na kung saan, anong force na kung saan it will be producing the same turning effect about A. Kaya lamang, mapapasin niyo, it should not touch B. Because if it will touch B, eh, dapat zero itong ating moment kasi a force will create no moment kapag dumadaan siya sa point. Sa mga katwid, it, the boundary of the direction of the force is before it reaches point B. While on the other side, ipakita naman natin yung other side, ano? ito yung mga posibleng mangyari, direction, ano? So, nakita niya natin yan. So, okay. Pero hindi siya tuloy-tuloy. So, you will notice that it should be okay, not creating or not passing through point A. Because there is a magnitude of the turning effect. If it will not pass, if it will pass through A, it will be zero. At hindi rin siya pwede na magpass sa A. Kasi pag magpass na siya dito, ano na ang magiging turning effect na? Mababaligtad na yung kanyang turning effect. Kaya hindi siya posibleng kay dumaan o lumagpass sa point A. Kaya kung pag-aaralan natin guys itong ating uh, boundary dito, okay, I will uh, okay, uh, make a uh, give emphasis ano, on the area or the region where it could ano, it could uh, be directed to produce the same turning effect. Okay. So, mga katwid, itong shaded portion na ito, yan yung area na kung saan ay pwedeng madirekta, dumiretso yung ating force na dumaraan sa F to produce the turning effect. Diba? Kaya any, any, any force that is directed okay, on that region will be producing a turning effect about A of clockwise and at about B of counterclockwise. So, ang next, next lamang natin ngayon gagawin is to, of course, okay, uh, to identify, to, to make a, a guess or uh, at least approximate or assume the direction. And I am assuming that uh, in this case, here is the direction of the F. So, I will write here the magnitude of F. Now, after you have identified the possible direction of F, ano ngayon na kinakil natin concept pang isa lang alang? Of course, kasunod natin ganyan is the formulation of the equation from the principle of moment. So, i-formulate na natin ngayon yung equation okay, mula doon sa tinatawag ating principle of moment. So, ano ba yun? Okay. So, tinan natin mabuti, ano? Okay. Uh, if we will be resolving F into components that is parallel to X and Y axis at point C. So, here is, at, here is the point C and we try to resolve this force F because we would expect that I have assumed in, in my case that it will be directed down to the left ano? so I'll be resolving it so that this will be my okay, component if with, this will be resolved at point C I have now the Fx and I have now the Fy and we're going to okay, look at that okay, yung Fx natin will have a perpendicular distance now from A equal to 4 because from this 5, I subtract 1. So, the value, therefore, of the okay, uh, perpendicular distance of Fx is equal to 4. And the perpendicular distance of Fy, because it's already established, is equal to 3. Diba? And if you're going to examine further, okay, both the Fx and Fy will have a clockwise turning effect about A. This would have a turning effect of clockwise, while this one also have a turning effect of clockwise. So, makatwid, if we are to apply the principle of moments, that is uh, the moment of the sum, is uh, the resultant is equal to the sum of the moments of its component. And if we are to follow the okay, uh, right-hand thumb principle, that it will be treated as positive if it is uh, okay, following the right-hand thumb rule. Okay, so so that okay, we are going to analyze okay the moment effect at, at point A of the force when resolved at C, ano? So, mapasin natin, both A here, as I have said, are closing clockwise turning effect at A. So that, if we were to apply the principle of moments considering design convention, that is following, ano, the right-hand thumb principle, following this right-hand thumb principle, positive siya kapag ang turning, turning effect ay, okay, ay uh, turning in the direction okay, pointed by our fingers, how these fingers are curled and this is the direction of the axis of rotation. Okay, and so it will be positive kung siya ay counterclockwise if it is okay, okay on the plane. And so, the moment of F about A shall be equal to the summation, to the sum of the moment of 
fx about a plus the moment of fy about a. And if we're going to substitute the value, a tin natin yung mga ba, ano ba yung moment ng fa? The moment of fa is a turning in the clockwise direction. And if we were to follow the right hand thumb principle, ano kanya magiging sign? Kanya magiging sign ay negative 600. Whereas the moment of fx, ina natin, no? fx is there. And turning also in the counter -clock, uh, clockwise moment about A, therefore, it will also be signed negative. And therefore, this will be our A moment. And the moment of Fy about A is there. Here is Fy, that is point A, and it will also be producing a clockwise moment. And therefore, A, the magnitude of that moment will be a negative 3 Fy. Diba? What about the moment effect? Okay, so tawagin natin itong equation 1. No? What about the moment effect of the force about point B? Let us now try to analyze the moment effect at point B of the force when they are when this force is resolved at point C. Okay, so we are going to look at the okay, components. Okay, both Fx and Fy okay, are producing a counterclockwise effect about B. And therefore, if we are going to apply again the same principle that is positive when A directed in the counterclockwise moment, that is what we call the right hand thumb rule. Hence, the moment of F about B shall be equal to the moment of Fx about B as the moment of Fy about B. And again, if we, will, if we will be substituting the values, what is the value of moment of Fb? It is 300 in the counterclockwise direction, and therefore that is positive. Right? What about the moment effect of Fx about B? Fx is there, producing moment, okay, whose moment term is equal to 1. Therefore, this will be a counter, uh, counterclockwise, hence that is positive, and that is equal to F sub X. While the moment of Fy about B will be equal to okay, this Fy multiplied by the moment term of 2, and that is also a positive because it is directed in the counterclockwise direction. And let us call this as our equation 2. If we will be okay, uh, writing back equation 1, which is equal to negative 600, okay, 600 equals to negative 4x, 4fx minus 3fy. Itong negative dapat na doon, ano yun, ano pala, ano? Okay, so what are we going to have to do? So let us try to multiply equation 2 by 4. Okay, if this equation will be multiplied by 4, then we shall be able to eliminate fx ano? so that this equation this will be multiplied by 4 will become equal to 1200 while if fx is multiplied by 4 that is 4fx is 1 if 2fy is multiplied by 4 that is like a plus 4fy and let us call this as our new equation 2 okay? equation 2 prime so that adding equations 1 and 2 uh, 1 and 2 prime to solve for fy, okay, we will be adding this equation and that equation, so we shall have what's the sum of this one? I have here, okay, 600. What about the sign of this one? Okay, the sum. The sum will be 0. And this one will be 5y. Now, simplifying and then solving for f sub y, f sub y is equal to 120. Now, after that, we substitute 120 in equation 2. Actually, this can be substituted in either 1, either 2, or the 2 prime. But we can select ano, which equation is easier to substitute okay, the value of Fy. And I believe it will be at equation 2 because Fy, okay, all the coefficients are simple. Ano? So, substituting the value, I will have a 300 equals uh, uh, Fx plus 2 times the quantity of 120, where this 120 is equal to the value of f sub y and then solving for f sub x f sub x therefore equal to now since we are to solve for the moment of that f about o then we try okay to apply also the principle of moments that is the moment of f about o shall be equal to the sum of the moments of its component about the same point and what is the moment of f about o? Let us try to analyze. Here is our point o. Here is our fx whose moment term is 1. And here is our fy whose moment term is okay, a 3. And take note that they are in the opposite direction. Ano? So 
substituting the value okay uh, yeah substituting the value f sub x which is equal to okay 60 and f sub y which is equal to 120 in the equation then our equation becomes the moment effect of f about tau equals 60 times 1 minus 120 times 3 then simplifying that gives us a value of negative 300 newton meter so anong ibig sabihin ng negative 300 newton meter here kasi nga ang kung sinusunod natin yung tinatagating right hand thumb principle positive siya kapag siya ay counterclockwise and because this is negative it means that the direction is opposite okay, the positive direction so it is opposite of the counterclockwise and therefore it is in the clockwise direction. Kaya meron tayo dito notation. Notation negative means that the moment created by the force about to is in the clockwise direction. Or simply, it is opposite of the a convention. What is our convention? Our convention is positive when it is counterclockwise. Diba? Kaya dahil negative siya, therefore the opposite of counterclockwise is clockwise. And therefore you have this okay, uh, answer. Okay? So, guys, sana nasundan natin itong uh, application ng uh, principle of moments. Kaya, I am uh, inviting you once again to subscribe to this channel para tuloy-tuloy nating nasusubaybayan at nasusundan itong ating series of discussion about statics of rigid bodies. Once again, thank you for watching.